going on, you guys? It's your boy Avery LR32 here. Number one, thank you all so much for all the support on the channel as of late. I really, truly do appreciate it. It means the world to me. Also, I saw that the last video I posted, the podcast episode, got a lot of support. So if you're interested in my Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast episodes type of thing, I have other episodes on the channel, so be sure to go and check those out. Just type in on my channel's search bar like Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast and it should pop up. So let me know what you think about those in the comments below. So let's go ahead and dive into a market watch because it is day one of YCS Brazil and hopefully we've got a damn ban list right around the corner. First up though, I wanted to look at at an old playmat that I really want to add to my collection. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! National Championship 2009 Judgment Dragon and Dark Arm Dragon playmat. Now, this was given out if you went to the National Championship in 2009. Uh, it's a freaking beautiful mat. I mean, this is gorgeous. Now, there were a few different ones. This is the North American one. This is the National Championship one, right? But... They also have European, where it says European Championship 2009. Then they also have Continental Championship, where it says Continental 2009. Um, so keep that in mind if you want to snag these off the market. Right now, you can get one that has a little bit of a, uh, I guess, like a spot or a nick, if you will, on the Judgment Dragon's wing, if we can pull it up here. That little white mark, I don't know if you can see it or not, uh, right here. And uh, that is hurting the value a little bit, according to this seller. They're selling it for 450, but if you don't want that one, if you want like the European one, you're looking at 350. Continental is almost 400. But then after that, ladies and gentlemen, it's 588. Well, don't fucking get this one because the guy said that he had it mounted on a wall for years, so it's got like literal pinholes in it. So you're looking at 800, and then you're looking at 1100 dollars. There's actually one as well that. Uh, is a thousand dollars this one's actually 200 i actually have a couple of these i need to go sell those yeah here's the one for a thousand so if you want a beautiful piece of artwork to add to your collection i'd, I'd say go for it this one here is 140 there was one here for 120 this one's over 2000 the the gorse playmat if you really want to drop some money um, but yeah definitely a beautiful piece that i want to personally add to my collection so power of the expensive ass wallet uh ultimate slayers went back up they were at 400 so they dropped down to 312s now they're hanging around 375s, DPs, 330s, Marthas, 150s. Blues did drop a little bit. They were at 90s. They dropped to 75s. Primeval Planets were at 95s. They're at 84s. Uh, Rhino Hearts, 12s. Regular Slayers at 40s. Uh, Guru is at 11s. You need to get your copies while you can. Starter, 7. Elves, 8s. Uh, Kaleido Hearts, 6s. That's actually pretty good. Um, Gigantics at 2s. Instant Contacts at 4s. No one's really playing this card. Surprisingly enough, uh, tactical doo doo stain. Uh, this this sets a bucket of liquid ass with big old chunks inside. You got collectors rare cosmics at sixty threes. Just get the ultis; those are worth more. I'm pretty sure. Collectors rare drolls. Just get the ultis; they're worth more. They'll probably stay more for a while. Trapture collector rares at sixties is actually not too bad. Scapio collector rares if you want to play like goat format sixties. Uh, fifty nine to sixty bucks. That's that's not terrible. Runic Fountain at 55 collector rare. Don't do that to yourself. That's a that's a terrible idea. Anti spells at 57s. Okay. Runic <laughs> Runic tips, just the tips. Uh that's I'm not gonna be able to get that joke out of my head now. They're 69s. Nice. No, excuse me, I can't read. 67s for collector's rares. Again, don't touch that with 10 foot pole. Boxes 54s, just the tip at uh 27s. Fountains at 14s. Uh, and then wings at six dollars and twenty-three cents. Really, like, if you want a runic core, like, just lowest rarity and you don't care about the collector's rares, you're spending, like, what, three of everything? Like, 110 to 115, maybe? There were places I saw on pre-sale offering 150 to 200 for a core. No, 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 it's not worth that much. Runic uh, may just fall on its face and be a pile of uh, booty booty butt cheeks. Um, we'll be looking at those more in a second. Dimension Force. So we've got 18 listings on the Ghost Bells for 350s. Magnifica's 238s. Alba Lenatus are almost under a hundred dollars. The boxes have really been tanking too. You're looking at fifty-two dollars. Thirteen for Psychic Ends. Eleven twenties for Visa Star Frost Secret. Fourteen for Ultras. Uh, regular Magnificus fours. That's cute. Dino Morpheus stuff has really dropped off. Illegal Knights at dollars. Um, yeah, this this set there's this set just died in a fire. There's nothing good in this set out of fucking all, like at all. Whew. Yeah. Uh, Ghosts from the Past. My two favorite things that I like to look at in this set. Also, Alu Bars are $5, which is cute. Ball Sacks. 
and Dark Arm. So Dark Arms, whoo, these have been going down. So you're looking at Near Mint First Edition for 43. Remember when these were 45s? I do. I yeah. They're they're in the 44s, ladies and gentlemen. If you want a Near Mint First Edition Dark Arm, uh, you can pick up three right now, 4307, 4350, basically 44 or 4380. Yeah, if you want a cheap play set of Dark Arms, you're looking at 120s. These are going to go up. I'm telling you, like a year down the road, this stuff is going to be fucking money. Uh, what are ball sacks doing today? Big old ball sacks. Um, sphere modes, can, th th this is why I keep on saying you need to get rid of the fucking Koreans. Someone's going to fucking buy this one, and it's they're not going to be able to play it. So you're looking at 56 for mod plays. What'd you do? Fart on it? Like, do you just sit on it, bro? Like, anyway, near, <laughs> near mints or 60s. That, that's not bad, actually, especially direct from TC player. 60 bucks for Ghost Rear Sphere modes. That's not, that's not bad. I mean, these were what, 80s, 90s? They're down to 60s? Um, yeah, nothing else really going on. I feel sorry for you if you pull it to my eyes. Blue Eyes Ultimate looks, looks cool, but I wish I would have gone with the other artwork. Uh, let's see here. Uh, j just runic stuff across the board. This is what I'm talking about. See, it's fucking pennies. Like, look, the, the regular ultras are 29s. It's a Banish one that's, like, basically a rota for the deck. Like, it doesn't even deserve to be that expensive. 14s on these. And, like, look, everything else is just pennies. Pennies, ladies and gentlemen. This shit's pennies. It's not going to be all that good. Mystic Douchebag, the card that needs to be banned. You're looking at $4 for secrets, $4 for supers, and $3 for golds. <sighs> yeah, you, you need to sell these, like, yesterday. Because... I'm telling you, this card's going to get banned. The fact that one card up at, a, at three copies can hold up so many strategies in Yu-Gi-Oh! deserves to be banned. I don't care what anyone says. It's it's a horrible-ass card. Terribly designed. It needs to go. I would rather... I'm not even kidding. I'd rather have Verte and a fucking Conda than have Mystic Douchebag in the game. Next up, uh, Alter Guy stuff. All across the board, this stuff is pretty cheap. Like, you look at high to low, and, like, I'm going to refresh it here to make sure, but high to low, like, yeah, you're looking at uh, $2, $2. Like, you're, you're looking at really cheap stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Some people were afraid this stuff was really going to go up, but it's been printed so many times that it's really not that expensive. Even the secret rares here, like, they're they're under a dollar for multi-pickers. They're not, they're not expensive at all, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's see. Let's pull up just generic Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I like to look at what's going on in the high end of the market, um, because it, it, it is a downtime right now. Like, there isn't much to discuss other than, hey, we need a fucking ban list. Uh, Ultimate Rare Max Seas are... Ugh, these things always get bought out around a fucking ban list time. Like, this shit's never coming back. If they if this comes back, then they need to get rid of the, the ban list separation between OCG and TCG. You can get a 780 for Italian near mint. Uh, German for basically 780. 800 for, wow, 800 for English. Wow, and then they jump up to 900 for light play. And then 900 for near mint. So if you want an ulti rare maxi English, you're looking at 801 after shipping. Uh, you do you, boo-boo. That's, uh, that is not worth it. I'd rather go spend that on a case. 10,000 dragon, 1,500. Eras, 1250s. <laughs> Oh my lord. Dual Link Dragon, the the shitty dragon, five hundred dollars. Twenty six hundred dollars for Apple's. What? These things got sold no, stop it. These were fifteen hundred and they jumped up to sixteen hundred. What is happening here? You're looking at Spanish, fifteen hundred. Very light play. Give me a fucking break. Twenty six hundred dollars for near men, all the way up to ten thousand dollars i'm sorry if you have the money to blow twenty six hundred dollars on a Yu-Gi-Oh card uh you need to come help me pay my bills like real talk i've, I've got some cancer bills that i could use some help being paid like you have too much money if you're spending that much um exchange of the spirit retro packs remember beginning of november we are getting the new milling support that uses exchange of the spirit um, so keep that in mind. Uh, let's see. You're looking at 180 for German, 250 for mod play, 380 for, or no, excuse me, 390 for French, Italian 400, near mint, Italian 439, and Italian for 550. There's no English of these on the market. Oh my lord. I was playtesting this against, uh, 
my buddy there today. Shout out to Big Bruce ninety four. Uh, and he was it was funny because after I resolved it, he rage quit two turns later. He's like, I don't want to resolve this again. I'm done. <laughs> I'm like, I don't blame you. Um, Black roses have dropped off. Those are four fifties. Magician of Faith Super Rares, 460s. Good Lord. The market, at least the high end, is expensive AF, everybody. So, guys, please let me know down in the comments what you think about this weekend's market and what do you think is going to happen on the balance? What do you think is going to happen just in general? We need a fucking balance. I'm so sick of this format. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.